What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to build a React single page application. So if you don't know exactly what is a single page application, it's basically just like this kind of website where we can just uh, move around. Look at this. I can go from home, best actors, best actresses, uh, best films. I, I can even look at this each time I click, for example, we are in here at the home. If I click on best actor, it goes into four slash actors and four slash actress for the actress for the films four slash films. I can even go a level deep. For example, if I click in here in the winner, look, we have another image in here, the name and a brief um description about him i can click to go back look look at the url in here at the top rami malek actors so i can go back to actors i could go for example for bradley cooper in here another thing in here um so yeah let me go back look william defoe so yeah basically this is what we are going to build guys uh, you don't need to know uh, a lot of React. Basically, I'm going to explain you everything uh, from the beginning. And I think I didn't cover this part of the React routing where you can just go and switch around uh, the content of the page. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. All right, so let's get started. I choose this team of the Oscars 2019 because it was just like a few days ago and I re I'm really into these kind of things of movies and stuff. So I think it was cool to make this kind of project. I'm going to make one a little bit more sophisticated with a little bit more things to put on my website, telmsampai.com. Uh, if you didn't check it yet, check it down. I don't have a lot, a lot of tutorials in there yet, but I'm going to put my courses in there. But it's just good for you to know that exists. All right, so let's get started with this tutorial. If you want to know how to build this single page application, how you can go one level deep, you know, just move things around, you know, without loading the page. Let's get started. So first thing you need to do is download Node.js. All right, you need to download Node.js, go to Node.js.org, or you can just go to Google, download Node, download it and install it. I'm going in here to my command line and I'm just gonna write down, uh, I'm, I don't know exactly if I can, let me just see if I can go with um, properties and uh, um, cursor size font okay i'm gonna put maybe this is like 36 yeah i think like this you will see better so if i put in here node dash v look version 10.15 so it means that uh, i have installed node so this is what i want you to do after you install node I want you to choose a folder that you want to put your project your react project you go in here to this part in here where you can see the path. So mine is D uh, colon slash YouTube. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going in here to my uh, to my PowerShell command line on Windows and I'm going to put um, CD space and I'm going to press control V and enter. So now I'm on the path that I want to put my react project. Next thing you want to do is install your React project. All right, so you need to install a React project. To start a completely new one, you can just go to Google and write down to create a new React app and they give you the instructions in here, which is npx create dash React app and then the name of your app. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put npx create dash React dash app let me see if everything is correct uh yeah create react app that's it and then the name of my app it's gonna be uh, let's see um single page application dash react okay press enter and now this is gonna install all the things that we need to get started with our react project this should take depending on your um on your connection of your internet, just a minute or two minutes maximum. But once this is finished, I'll get back to you. All right, so we just finished installing our React app. Now, what we want to do is just starting it to see how does it look like a fresh new install of a React app. 
So I'm going in here into my command line. I'm going to press LS. Oops, LS to see what's in there. And we can see that we have this one, a folder with the SPA React. Let's go in here and look. This is what we just installed. So I'm going to click it. This is what's in there. I'm going to do CD to, to go inside and I'm going to press SPA and then I'm going to press my tab to write the rest. Press enter and now we are inside. To start the React app, you just have to go in and uh, type npm start. Right, so now our React app is just starting. This is a completely fresh new install. Let's see how does it look like. It's just loading. There it is. Here is our React app completely freshly installed. Um, so what I want to do in here now is just open my Visual Studio Code in here. I'm gonna, if you are, I'm using, I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever um, code editor you want. This is the one I'm gonna be using. So in here on the side, if I click these files in here, I can go add folder to workspace and I'm going in here and I'm going to put YouTube and I'm going to put in here SPA React ads. All right. So here it is SPA React. So I want to see how does it look like now on the browser. So this is how it looks like in the browser. But let's start editing our files to just get this off. So all mo most of what we are going to be writing down is going to be in here. This is the main file that we are going to be writing on this app.js. Look at this. We have a return and we have all these things inside. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. Look. Okay. And I'm just going to put in here something like uh, my name, Telmo Sampaio. Um, all right. So we are not using a logo anymore. So I'm going to get rid of this logo in here. Uh, what else? Where is it in here? Where it says this logo? I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to delete it because I don't want to use this logo anymore. Uh, what else? We got this test. I don't need this test as well. Um, we got we index. This is fine. I'm not going to be using this index.css as well. So I'm just going to delete this and app.css, I'm gonna get rid of these most likely. So I'm gonna delete these as well. So we got our app. I think I don't need this test as well. And that should be it. Let's save this. Uh, we don't have these as well. So I'm gonna get rid of this import. So that should be it. So now let's go in here and see. Okay, we got something that is still uh, ah, let's get rid of this index.css. Okay, we got rid of it and it's just in here at the top my name. So we are exactly where we wanted to start. All right, so this is a completely fresh new install. And if I'm going to put in here something, let's see. Um, I already put my name so you can see. Right, so this is going to be the first video. Uh, I want, I don't want to make these videos like too long, but uh, this is just like to install the react app, clean everything. And we have all that we need to get started with our single page application. So I'll see you in the next video.